grasses and whatnot. Listen here, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck you, okay? This sword is ridiculous. Oh man, is it ridiculous? I still love my sword though. Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, of course, Dolan Meister, and we are back. We are back in some more on the Mods 3 Journey Through the Lost Cities. Oh yeah. Hope you guys are ready and excited for today's episode because we're going to work a little bit more on Batania. And I'd like to do some quick automation with it. Oh no, I broke the flower. But I wouldn't mind trying to do some automation with Batania. There's some pretty simple stuff we can do right off the bat that'll help us out probably in the long run nothing too crazy but we'll see we'll see if we get to that so today what i'd like to start with is some pretty obvious stuff let's clear up my inventory i got a bunch of junk on me that i don't need per se let's throw you on eat some more food excellent is that keeping me full it is nice so we've gone ahead and we've made ourselves a whole bunch of living rock and living wood not i mean okay not a lot but we have we have a decent amount let's go ahead and get a i should have some crafting in here i do excellent place you down there we go so we're gonna need to make a couple of things one of the things we're gonna need to make is some more flowers which would be good and for starters let's go ahead and pull up batania one of the things we're gonna probably want to make right off the bat is gonna be do, 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 where are you one of the flowers endo flames here we go which needs two brown petals gray and red which we should have brown petals some gray and some red excellent and i think i'd like to make um let's see if we can make eight of them i think that'll be good right yeah do that and then that's 14 excellent and then we have some seeds and i still have my bucket on me and my water tank which i believe oh low leg i believe i left uh I left down there. Let's see. Do I have any slabs? Half slabs in here? I do have some. Let's do that. Because this is getting really annoying. Really? Dude? Really? Can you not place a block on the ground? There we go. Excellent. Much, 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 much better. All right. Let's go down to the fifth floor real quick. Let's grab our water out of here, which should be full. It is. Nice. So this should be enough water to last us for a pretty decent amount of time, I would think. But we can use that to our advantage, and then we can kind of do what we need to do. So let's go ahead and do one, two, two, and one. My magnet's off, so you should be working. Excellent. And then we can do this and this, and then we should be able to do that. And then we just need to do that. Oh, yeah. So you can right-click with an empty hand, and then we just need to drop the seeds on there. And then that's it. Right? Yeah. And then Q. Maybe I'll do that instead. There we go. Right click and right click. Drop seeds. And then we should have enough, hopefully, for two more here. So this should be pretty good. What am I out of? I'm out of brown? No! No, 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 no. I'm out of brown. Dang it. Do I have any brown, any more brown flowers? Let's see here. What are they just called? Mystical brown flowers. Brown. If I could spell right, that would help. No. Dang it. All right. Well, we're starting with seven then, I guess. That should do pretty well. And I'll be I'll be okay with that. So a couple of things I want to grab. So we should be able to come down here to the fifth floor. And if you remember, we have a fairly expansive collection right now of grid power, which is good. And we have this guy. So we are using some grid power, especially when we're flying. We have our four magical upgrades in here. Let's grab, let's leave those in there. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a stack of coal and let's throw this in here as well. So this is only using AGP, wow. This gives us some really, really nice coal. And this current efficiency boost is 645%. Bo boost fuel efficiency with an additional GP up to 700%. Man, we are almost tapped on that so that's really cool so what that should mean is that this stuff should burn a long time now can i turn these into blocks or anything i don't think so no but with the current rate it's 13 minutes now does that change i'm curious so if i fly 
and click use on you again. 13 minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, so it still says 13 minutes. So that should be all right. So that'll give us a little bit more of the red coal, which the red coal is really, really good for what we're doing up here. So let's go ahead and grab some gold. We'll need a few ingots of gold. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab some of these white ones, and we're going to go ahead and grab some of the living wood as well. And what we need to do is we need to take the living wood, do this and this. Nice. And that gives us our mana spreader. Excellent. So with the mana spreader, we can start producing mana. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. So not much more to it than that. So let's go ahead and grab some dirt. And we're going to be fixing this up so it's not so ugly here in a few minutes. But for right now, we're going to just go basic, all right? And what I want to do is place the mana spreader down first, then go ahead and grab all of our endo flames. Excellent. So now we have a problem because I need to grab some more petals. So we should have some black flowers, right? Yeah. Let's do that. I just need one petal. And let's go ahead and grab some green petals. Do we not have lime? We do, oh, they're just lime flowers, nice. So I like personally to do it this way because these are my favorite colors. In case you don't know, <laughs> black and green are sort of my, my thing. So if we do that and that, let's do it this way. Nah, I like it this way, yeah, yeah. So the texture's been updated on here, which is pretty cool. But now what we can do is we can see things like, where are these connected? Now, if I were to, let's say, break the mana spreader and break one of the mystical flowers and place it back down, let's place it here, then place the mana spreader back down, you'll notice that these guys are still connected, but this guy is not because I placed the mana spreader after or before I place the, the endo flame, or I'm sorry, after I place the endo flame. So that means that it doesn't automatically connect. But if I were to place it back down again, now because this is already here, it automatically connects to it. So that is super handy. What I wanna do actually is this temporarily because I don't, see it's trying to connect to the mana spreader that's not there anymore. So you can right click and click and you'll see, there we go. Right click and click, and then we just do this all the way around these guys will all be connected to our mana spreader and we're good to go. So they should all be now connected to this guy. Yes, yes, excellent. So now we need to go ahead and make ourselves a mana pool, which should just be like that and gives us a mana pool. Excellent. Oh, vivid wave, interesting. So now what we can do is we can take this coal and we should be able to drop it all on the ground, except my magnet's on, and then all of it should be picked up by the endo flames except for like three, I think, yeah. So these guys should hopefully burn for quite a while, will be my guess. I'm not 100% certain how long they'll burn, um, because I know that from what I understand, Vasky's put in a lot of different protections against you know just putting in crazy amounts of, of fuel that's gonna burn forever kind of thing. But for right now, it should be enough to do what I want. So what I want to make are the are these guys, the floating white islands. We need pasture seeds, which is grass inside of a mana pool with a little tick. And I want to do that for all of the flowers that we have right now. So let's grab, I think I have some shears in here. I do, excellent. Do I have any grass in here? I don't, that's fine. So let's go ahead and see if we can find ourselves some grass, here we go, excellent. I thought I had actually cleaned all this up. Ooh, there's a spider. He's coming for me, he's coming for me, ah! Excuse me, Mr. Spider. Oh, you dropped your eyes. Uh, we have five, some of this stuff is not vanilla grass, so it gives me weird grasses and whatnot. Listen here, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck you, okay? This sword is ridiculous. Oh man, is it ridiculous? I still love my sword, though. Cool, so we have 10 and some leaf piles, and then we have this medium grass, which is biomes of plenty. That's not biomes of plenty. Yeah, so because of my uh, my texture pack that I have, uh, you get randomizations of things. So that's why we have different looking height grass. It's all the same. That's why this poppy looks different than, well, those poppies both look the same, but this poppy here and this poppy here, they're all poppies. It's just my texture packs, which I think I've got linked in the description. I'm pretty sure I linked them in the description because you guys have asked and you always do ask. Someone will ask. 
eventually. So I, I tend to make sure to, to link those things. All right, so these guys are still burning away, which is cool. Uh, we've got a bit more mana in here. Let's see if it'll be enough to get us a couple of pasture seeds. Ooh, it will be. Nice. So these things are actually really cool in general, but for what we want to do, they will be perfect. Cool. So I'm going to wait for these to burn out. We're going to go ahead and grab some... We should have some more flowers in here. Just flowers in general. Flowers. Uh, which one do we have the most of? The cyan flowers. Why not? That'll, that'll do. And then we just need some glowstone, I believe. And we should be able to do this. Yeah, so that'll make them glimmering. So we need seven, nine. Okay. So we'll take these, these, and these. And these will give us floating cyan flowers. Excellent. So we can go ahead and toss the rest of this junk right in here. I think I just threw all my seeds in there. That sucks. And then what we can do is we should be able to take our pure daisies and one of the floating islands and make a floating pure daisy. And then we can get rid of this dirt that's clogging up my junk holes here. And we're good to go. Excellent. So let's go ahead and grab that cyan. Uh, do, do, do. There we go we can do that we can go ahead and break this guy as well and place that down and then now we have the mystical flower so these act exactly the same as the regular flowers but they don't need dirt underneath them which is super duper useful one two boom there we go so now we can go ahead and grab some more stuff we can place it around here like this and as you see it's getting the sparkly effects and we know that it is working and I will prove that it's working for both. And it's just nice. So these have a couple advantages. One, you can place these inside of liquids and they won't get washed away. The regular flowers will. So that's super handy. Man, this thing is still just chugging along, aren't you? That's really surprising. Uh, well, we're going to have to wait till that's done and we're going to do the same for those guys. But as you see here, these things are going to work flawlessly, which is super fantastic. So what I'd like to do is... Eh, we can throw my wand in there for right now. What I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and get a couple of things put kind of together here. And we're what I'm thinking is going down the line of using refined storage because or actually even applied energistics might work a bit better because we know we have the covers for one uh, and we can do kind of a sub network with applied energistics without having to go through and set up an entire full network. Just need to remember how to do it because it's been a little while, but we should be able to do things like, let's go ahead and see, can we make one of you? We probably can't, not right away. What do we have for quartz? Quartz. We have a lot of Surtis Quartz and Charged Surtis Quartz. That's actually good. I'll take that. And I'll take that. And let's go ahead and jump into my pouch and grab these things out. And we can swap them out on the drill. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, we don't need you. I don't really need this block placing one. I've never really gotten it to work right. So, oh, I think those guys finished over there. So that's good. So we can do this and we can do this as well. My guess is there's a high possibility that a builder's wand won't work properly on this. Where is my builder's wand? Is it in my bag? No, but we'll need one of these. It's probably in the, in the, in the refined storage system. Let's see if I have my builder's wand builder's wand i have this one which will work boop okay so we're gonna build this up real quick and then we'll tear it all down and this will give us lots of oh i don't have the right block apparently anymore because it, it's a stack boop excellent okay so now we should be able to do i'll put this guy back into here that should be all right. I just need to turn on my magnet real quick. And then let's go ahead and break this and this. And then let's go ahead and break these down and see how much we get out of this. Holy cow, I think we're going to get a lot. Oh, that's what I thought. We're down at the bottom. Nice. So this is good. This is good. We're going to get lots of, of the charged Sirtis and get a lot of regular Sirtis. And I don't have to do as much work. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, man, we got a lot of that. Nice. Excellent. So, does it show me the... 210, 228, yeah, yeah. 
out of, out of a couple stacks. Cool. So we'll throw those in there. Uh, we have the Certus and the Charge Certus. So we'll go ahead and hold on to the Charge. Let's go ahead and grab some Redstone. Let's go ahead and grab some Quartz. And then let's go down to a puddle of water. Like this one over here. Ooh, my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, let's clear my throat right inside the camera. Camera? The... <laughs> Uh, I'm having one of those days. Uh, let's do this, this, and this, and those should all combine together. Woo! And then that will make us two stacks of Fluix Crystals, which is pretty cool. Makes me happy, at least. All right, so now that we have the Fluix Crystal, this mana pool got quite a bit of mana. Nice. We should be able to make this guy, which still needs the Surtis Quartz Dust, which I forgot about. What was that? There's like a red, a blue line there that I saw. So we could do this with uh, with regular applied energy or with uh, with refined storage, but I wanted to try it with applied energistics just out of curiosity because I believe I can do a little bit more with it. All right, let's get some quartz, and we'll go ahead and grab a stack of you and toss it into here, and then that should grind up fairly quickly. Oh, nuts! Stop with the auto input for a minute. Oh, cool. We made silicon. I don't think there's any other good way. Actually, no, we can make silicon really easily in the crusher, which is cool. So we're going to go ahead and get some of the Sirtis Quartz Dust. And then we still need to try to make this stupid thing that I've been trying to make for the last couple of minutes. So we just need some Sirtis Quartz Glass. Excellent. And we can make this guy. Energy Receptor. Uh, Acceptor. I swear I can speak. I'm it's whatever you guys know what I'm talking about that's all that's important so there's that this should be making more of you and then we want to also go ahead and make the uh, the dude that we need man it's been a while since I've done <laughs> applied energistics so I'm just trying to remember what everything is called right now we need this guy so that needs two sticky pistons can I make sticky pistons no, but I can make pistons. That I do know. So we can go ahead and craft two two pistons. Uh, and if we have any slime, which we should have a little bit of, we can do that. And then that gets us our two sticky pistons. Excellent. So now we should be able to make this guy. Inscriber. Nice. So this is going to be a little slow. This thing, I believe, will get power. It does. Excellent. We should have... All of the different things. Oh, we do. Look at that. We also have a bunch of silicon. Nice. We don't need that much. We don't even really need that much, but we'll take it. So we have the, the logic press, uh, the calculation press, and the engineer's press. I said those wrong, but that's fine. So this guy is only going to take one at a time. That's right. So we need to grab piston. No, we need to grab a hopper. We happen to have a couple more of, which is cool, cool. And we can do that because it should stack over here. It just won't stack over here, which is super annoying still. And that will do what we need. And then I need a chest. Uh, we'll grab a sky stone chest because I like the sky stone chest. And we'll toss those in there so that they're safely kept somewhere so we know where they're at. So we have this, we have this, and I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of the stuff that we need off camera real quick, and we'll be back in just a minute to hopefully put it all together and see how it works. So we'll be right back in just a second. All right, so we're back, and I got this fun stuff set up because you have to input from the bottom and the top and the side, and I don't have the space here, and I didn't feel like moving it, and that's where power is. So we've got a couple of logical processors. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and go ahead and do some go-ahead with the go-aheading and the go-ahead. <sighs> whatever we need we need some formation planes for me for formation i can spell i promise which need some formation cores which we should be able to make a couple of these guys let's go ahead and make uh let's make a handful for right now we'll make four we're just right now we're we're, we're, we're testing this and then we need some destruction planes which i just realized i need to uh uh, it's, isn't it destruction? Planes. Annihilation. That's what it is. Which needs the annihilation cores. Yeah. 
So there is our two Annihilation Cores, our two Formation Cores, and we need to take these guys, and we also need to make with them a interface, which is right here. Excellent. So we need one interface. And let's go ahead and just make uh, one Annihilation Core, or one Annihilation Plane, and one Formation Plane for right now. And that will do excellent. Let's go upstairs and let's go into this open area that we have. And let's test this guy out. So this should, for all intents purposes, do what we need, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and set down this ME interface. And we will set down this guy who's now facing the wrong way. And this guy who's also facing the wrong way. So we will uh, go ahead and break both of them. <laughs> let's do this. Let's set the formation plane down there like that. And then let's go ahead and get a block here. We'll use this because we have it in our inventory. Place that on top and then go ahead and break that guy. But make sure we run cables up here. Mm -hmm. See, very simple, very simple. Nothing to this. We can hook this guy up here and that will give everything power, right? Right, right, no nearby energy tiles, what, uh, of course, um, do I have any of the power cubes in here, power, power cube, power cube, yeah, yeah, looks like I don't, uh, what do I have then for transferring power, I don't know what I'm using other than power cubes, I guess I'll have to make one real quick. That's annoying. I can steal one probably from somewhere else. We can steal one from right here. Excellent. Look at that. Who says I don't know what I'm doing sometimes? So power cell. Boop. And this guy will set to all out because I can. And there we go. So now, now we see what we see, which is exactly what we want. So, what we can do with this is we can go ahead and break both these blocks. And if I go to the Annihilation Plane, which doesn't seem to have an interface. I thought the Annihilation Plane did. I guess it doesn't. The Formation Plane does. Place blocks will be placed as blocks. So, if I place that. This guy should be breaking it and dropping it in here. More content. Do not push. Should be placing it in there. Yeah. See, but it's not breaking it, which is what's weird. But, like, if I... So, as you can see, if I put that in, that should just break. But it's picking it up right away, which is what's weird, and placing it again. So the Annihilation Plane is actually getting it, but it's not breaking it, which is odd, and I don't know why. So I'll have to mess around with this a bit, but this is the basic idea. Um, this should create basically a sub-network without needing to have it hooked up to any kind of actual AE system. Uh, I thought the Annihilation Planes had an interface, but they appear not to, so... So, 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 what we might need to do is maybe a little bit of something else. I've got some other ideas that might work, which could be interesting, could be interesting. We'll see, we'll see. But for right now, this is pretty good. Uh, I'll mess around with this a bit off camera. Basically, this is what we're going to do. We're going to build this around the outside here like that, and it'll just convert slowly over time as needed. Uh, the the living rock and the wood, the living wood, as as we require it. We can just basically take it all, throw it in there like that it'll show up on there and it'll be placed i mean how great is that right right why are you not breaking you should be breaking the blocks i'll figure that out off camera anyways guys as, as always i think we've reached a wrapping up point i really do appreciate you watching and i really thank you very much if you've enjoyed the episode go ahead and hit that thumbs up button leave me a like if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button as well to get all the delicious dolan master content in your subscription feed oh yeah so until next time, I'm of course Dolmeister. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you guys later. Bye.